So fresh off the airflow box, let's actually do some raw airflow and suction tests for this Bissell Heavy Duty. So if you remember, with this filter out and the brush roll, let's see, not spinning, I'm at 66 nozzle CFM down here. So how much airflow do you have just from the motor, from the origination point? And again, I have to actually include this little piece right here because if I take it out, I don't get any airflow. Okay, 137 CFM. I'll round that. So if I take 137 and I subtract 66, which is the same type of measurement all the way through, what we're looking at is a 71 CFM loss. That would be, that would rather include through the cyclone assembly, and there's a pipe and a tube down here, and of course it's got to go through an angle, and then it's got to spread out going into the, the rug plate area and whatnot, into the nozzle area. So from here, through the cyclones, all the way down there, we're losing 71 CFM. That's too bad because the motor generates close to 140, really something. Now, I'm going to reset up because I can't do it at this angle and see how much suction we get right from the motor. I think that should be close enough. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm thinking maybe 93, maybe even peaking 94. I'll have to go back and review the video. That'll happen pretty fast. But it's definitely over 90. So this has tremendous airflow from this 10 amp motor and it has a really good suction. It's not way up there, but it's pretty high. Okay, so to conclude the measurements on this heavy duty Bissell, I'll do uh, all filters in, airflow and suction, from the actual hose. So I kind of stretch the hose in such a way that it's approximately straight, and that's normally how I test these. So let's see what we can get from the hose. I bet you it's not going to be real good. Away, whoops, and away we go. There, stay up there. And we're at 60, 60 hose CFM. That's with all the filters in. That's everything. So that would be a fairly realistic number. Okay, now time for suction tests, and I'm going to have to reorient the camera one last time. Okay, kind of a weird angle. Will it hit 90, or are there some leaks somewhere? Here we go. Wow. Okay, so maybe 74, 76. 
there are definite leaks in this machine. And that's even after everything is fairly cleaned up. There's the ratings plate. And if any of you Bissell fanatics can figure out what some of those numbers mean as far as the date code, hey, let me know. Because I just had to put down in my database that this machine was from 2011. And that probably isn't uh, that far off, but it probably isn't correct either. So here's the rest of the machine. It did not come to me at all looking this good, specifically the changeover valve in there and the piping. Yeah, that was that was pretty gross. It wasn't completely clogged though by any means. So here's the top of the machine. See, you've got your power button and your brush roll on off switch. It's kind of nice to have. And here's the top of the cyclone assembly. Now that was mud on the inside. That did not look good at all when I took that apart. So the brush roll, even though it's kind of cloudy, um, the lens is cloudy, the brush roll is immaculate. It's absolutely immaculate. But with bristles that harsh, wow, I just, I kind of wonder about recommending it to be used at all. And that HEPA filter, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's original. So why don't we make the last test that we do a particle count test. Now something about this is the amount of air that comes out of the bottom of the filter is very different than the amount of air that comes out of the top. This actually does not distribute very evenly at all. It, it doesn't. So the measurements will actually be different. Final test with this Bissell. Let's take a look at a very well used HEPA filter particle count. Okay, so I hope you saw that. There's hardly any airflow from down there, so the particle count's a little deceptive. Coming up here where it actually is moving some air, you can see it has very, very low uh, particle count. And that's with the HEPA filter. That is a number of years old. And let me change my focus here. I want to show you what the filter looks like a little bit. See that right there? So this is obviously facing the outside air, and this is the interior motor air, and it's just carbon dust. So this filter is doing very well over the number of years it's been in this machine. All right, so thanks for watching all these tests, and stay tuned for more, especially the sand in the carpet test.